Um, let's just let's just start by saying that when you write books, when you tell stories, like I like to tell, it is the best way to travel you can imagine. Just think about it. All the different places you can go, all you know, any country, any universe, <laughs> any planet, any rules, you can change the way time flows, you can bend the rules in any way as long as it feels true to smart travelers like you guys. You can go anywhere you want and that's part of the fun. So you were asking me about heroes and the stories and, and of, all the, the, of all the heroes I've ever written about, Basil, this, this fellow in Merlin's Dragon is the most unlikely hero of all of them. Yeah. Wouldn't you say, Oliver? Yeah. I, I really like the part when he bites the Quelix's tongue. Yeah. <laughs> and he had to be small to do that, too. Yeah. He, you know, the thing was, he is the <coughs> most humiliated, badly treated, ignored little guy on the whole planet, the whole of Avalon. He's the lowest little creature. Hold up, hold up your little, little finger, Greta. Hold up your hand, your little finger. See that? That's how small he is. And he has little teeny crumpled up wings and he's like worse than nobody. But he's the one person who can save... Merlin? Merlin. He's the only one. And, and, he, and you see and how. And at the very end he goes giant. Right. Merlin gives him a chance to gain what Merlin calls a body as great as your heart. And then he becomes not just Basil, little teeny Basil, finger big, but Basil Garad, the greatest dragon of all times, the most powerful creature in Avalon. He's as big as a mountain, and he's the best friend of Merlin the wizard. And that's where you'll pick up in, in uh, Merlin's dragon, book two, Doomraga's Revenge. And then it'll, it'll wrap up in book three that'll come out next year. But the thing is about Basil, he's still a little guy, even though he's got this giant big body. And he, he really, for the first time, he's the only dragon who ever, ever swoops in there to protect little creatures like himself. The ones who are getting bullied or pushed around or teased. Like the ones that are being attacked by predators. Exactly.